Hello, and welcome back to the Film Posters YouTube channel. I'm Gabriela, and I am joined by my wonderful co-hosts, Juan, Ana, and Josie. And today, we will be reviewing language lessons. So if you do not follow me on Twitter, which you should, <laughs> then you know that I have been talking about this film since I saw it at the South by Southwest Film Festival back in March. And so now it is finally being released this upcoming September 10th in theaters. And so we will be reviewing this film and talking about why we loved it and all that good stuff. So for those of you who don't know, Language Lessons is a film directed by Natalie Morales and it stars Natalie Morales and Mark Duplass. And Natalie plays a Spanish teacher who develops an unexpected friendship with her students, who is Mark Duplass. And so, yeah, it only stars two people because this film was made during the pandemic and it is told entirely through a video chat because there are virtual Spanish lessons that Mark Duplass is taking. And yeah, so unlike all the pandemic movies that have been made that take place through Zoom or through all of these online communication platforms. Language Lessons is the only one I've seen that does not mention the pandemic. It's not a, pan it's not a COVID film. It never mentions it. It's simply just a film about a Spanish lesson and love and loss and how these two people from entirely different backgrounds come together. And it is a wonderful film. You know, it's sometimes, the film that you need the most comes along and to me that was that film it came to me when i needed it the most and the thing is that i almost never watched it at the festival so i can't help but wonder what my life would be like if i had not seen this film at south by southwest it's so dramatic but i truly wonder that because it it truly when i saw it like as the posters i saw that film and i i went crazy <laughs> like i just kept basically forcing them to watch it as soon as it came out and yeah so needless to say finally got a release day we are very excited for it to make it its way into the world and yeah we already listened to me enough to talking about how much I love it so I'm just gonna jump to anyone else Anna let's just start with you so language lessons is a story that sheds light in finding vulnerability and empathy between relationships. It is very bittersweet and endearing. I really like Natalie Morales and Mark Duplass chemistry in this movie. I also love how it is focused on the, their relationship, but their relationship is not about love. It's about friendship and you can literally see it on the screen. It is very heartwarming. It is very charming. And like Garela said, it's it's a movie that is made in the pandemic, but it's not about the pandemic, which is kind of refreshing because this year this has been a lot of movies that's about COVID-19. And sometimes we just don't need to see that because we get affected by it. So watching this kind of movie, it's just, you know, it's refreshing. It just takes you out of that type of conversation that it just worries you. And you just sometimes need to have like a charming and funny movie to see. And this is what this movie is. Language Lessons is just a lovable film and it's, you know, it makes your heart melt. Yeah, definitely. And again, the chemistry between Natalie and Mark, it's incredible. And they're, and they're both two people that I really love their work. So them working together, it was bread and butter. It was great. They worked so well together. And, you know, I can't help but think because they're, they're obviously, they're friends in real life. So I can't help but think how much of the script was improv because they both wrote the script. So part of me watching the film was just wondering if everything, if they followed everything as if it was written or if, you know, they just went along with what they felt was right for the scene. Yeah, especially how Mark Dupla, he's in the mumblecore scene. So mm -hmm. it, the movie kind of felt that it has those themes. Well, when it comes to this film, I'm just going to read what I have written down real quick um, because I think it just captures it perfectly. And it's basically it's the film we need right now. Um, Natalie Morales and Mark Duplass create something so human. It's equal parts heartbreaking, heartwarming, and spellbinding. Also, I just really enjoyed how this film 
dealt a lot with false expectations because we slowly start peel, peeling back the layers of these two people because it deals a lot with social media, which we do see a lot with Mark Duplass work, especially. And the way that the film progresses is not just seeing the relationship between these two people as they take Spanish lessons, but it's mostly finding out who they are as people and just realizing that a lot of the assumptions that are made about one another are not exactly what is actually, like who they actually are. So it was very nice to see those glimpses of vulnerability as again, we peel back those layers, trying to know the core of the story, um, the core of what we're trying to figure out with these two people in terms of like plot wise, what is supposed to happen? Because a lot of things, do go astray so it's also dealing with those bumps down the road and it's just a masterful take on slice of life yeah definitely it's a very simple story but it has so many layers you know it's very unexpected i remember as soon as i when i read the plot i thought it was just going to be you know pretty straightforward i did not expect that the film to be so emotional I was ugly crying by the end. You know, I was not expecting that. I thought it was just going to be a happy story. That was it. And while it is happy, you know, but it also has, you know, very it's very, very sweet, like Anna mentioned. So there are parts that definitely got to me. And it was just really nice being able to actually see Spanish because um Natalie Morales' character, again, it's on Zoom. So Natalie Morales is in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. and Mark Duplass is in Los Angeles, California, if I'm not mistaken. It was in California. Yeah, so he was in California, and it deals a lot with that, and distance, and platonic relationships, and loss in more than one sense of the word. Again, false expectations, assumptions, different lifestyles, just a lot of that, and it's not preachy in any way. It's very honest. So I agree with what Gabriela mentioned earlier. For me, pandemic films have been very hit or miss. Some can handle the topic very well. So others get too carried away in exaggerating it and making some, like Anna said, feel very uneasy. But I actually think Language Lesson is probably one of the best films I've seen handle the pandemic situation because it doesn't, make the audience aware it's a pandemic film. It just makes it seem like a normal everyday life movie without feeling any kinds of pressure. And it's just a very heartwarming story. It focuses on two characters who don't realize how much they can help each other, but end up really just being the right person for each other in terms of helping each other out. I was really pleasantly surprised at how much I liked this film. I think it's, again, one of the best films that handles the pandemic situation and definitely better than a certain film I saw at a film festival, which, whereas Language Lessons gets the assignment correct and is the model student. I thought this film can be very uplifting. I really liked what it had to say about friendships, relationships, the grieving process. It really focused in the attention to details as to what the audience can take away from that in a new and refreshing way. Because normally when you think about the grieving process, you automatically think you're going to be sad about it. But here, it tries to find you the other side. Like, yes, there is pain, but there's also beauty in pain and what you can make out of it, especially with what happens in this story. So I really like that. Again, the chemistry between Mark Duplass and Natalie Morales, fantastic. It's really charming. It's lovely. And I definitely think Morales has a really bright future as a director. I want to see more of her work, especially after this film. So... This is a film you need to take a chance on. Rent it, watch it for yourselves because it doesn't ask that much of the audience. It's 90 minutes, you sit down, you zone out for a while and you enjoy the ride, which is honestly the best kind of film. Yeah. Speaking of Natalie as a director, make sure to stream Plan B on Hulu. That's what I was going to say. If you like this film, watch Plan B. Yeah. It's and on my watch list on Letterboxd. Two creative people that I love and admire came together and made one of my favorite films of the year. And it's already on my favorite films ever list, period. This film really spoke to me. And I also related a lot to it as well. So it was just kind of 
everything about it and I love it and I really want more people to watch it because I feel that it's a story that a lot of people will be able to relate to especially with the terms of loss and love I think it's a very relatable film that you know and also yeah. has a positive message and it's what we need right now and most importantly it is film poser approved four out of four approved language four lessons. out of four you got a four out of four in, with this film people you know it's good <laughs> so Gabriela out of curiosity for those of us who don't know where you can find language lessons where can someone rent it or see it in a theater so language lessons will be in theaters on Friday September 10th which after, it will be distributed by Shout Studios so hopefully after its theatrical run, it will make its way to, you know, video on demand where you will be able to rent it and all that good stuff. And of course, we will keep you updated. Also, check your local listings when it comes to this movie because it may or may not play in certain areas. Yeah, it's a limited run. But yeah, mate, just check it out. If you're interested, check it out. See if there, if it's playing at a theater near you, near you and if you feel safe going to the theater. If not, it will be available to rent eventually and you can check it out there. And if we've convinced you, add it to your watch list on Letterboxd. So that is it for this review. Please make sure to follow Film Posers at Film Posers on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, if this film will be available in your area, make sure to watch it and form your own opinion. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. And remember, we're all Film Posers. Bye. 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 <laughs>